Two tight end set and the quick pass to their favorite receiver and that's Corey Davis a true freshman out of Wheaton, Illinois. That's his 17th catch up. Fields or chance we will see from time to time in the backfield. Both rush for over 100 yards and fumbles the snap. Out of the pocket, Van Tubergen looks to throw, and it's incomplete. It's intended for Corey Davis. RB is a lineman backed up to the goal line as Van Tubergen looks and looks long over the top, and that's intended for Davis, but it's too tall. And the coverage over there out of Dwight White, a redshirt freshman out of Cypress Tech. Going to throw the ball like that, you've got to give your quarterback enough time or there's points at risk. And uh, they did a great job there of, of giving enough time Letting him be comfortable in that pocket, sitting there and making his decision. Great job by that offensive lineman. Ten at their own 25. They've been backed up on this end. Van Tubergen out of the shotgun. Pass is complete. And out near a first down is Corey Davis with his second catch of the night. Two wide receivers, a tight end set for Western Michigan under center. Van Tubergen has time. And it's complete again, and Corey Davis into Northwestern Territory. First down, Broncos. No pressure backed up in this position here. Absolutely nothing around them. They're, they're not even pressing the edges. First down, Michigan State. You said the Spartans' defense is good. And Tubergen has the ball tipped. And plenty of pressure coming from Dean Lowry. Well, and this defensive line has done a great job this year of getting their hands up, getting in throwing lanes, knocking that ball down. Uh, there's a lot of times when that ball is having a great schedule. Davis, his favorite receiver for Ed Tubergen here to the near side, and he dropped it at the 15-yard line. Outside the red zone now is Western Michigan on third and long. Van Tubergen in the shotgun, one back. That's Fields. Van Tubergen's going to look for Dave, uh, Davis, and he overthrows him. Two wide receivers, two tight ends for Western Michigan on first down. Van Tubergen drops straight back and looks more. And he has Corey Davis at the 30. Davis is going to go all the way, 75 yards. The touchdown for the Broncos. Van Tubergen to Davis. Van Tubergen has struggled coming in in the first two games. A passing percentage of less than 50%, but he finds his favorite receiver in Corey Davis. And, and you look right here, you know, just a little pump fake and all the time in the world. And, and it's amazing to me that Northwestern hasn't put more pressure on. But right there, Corey Davis of your screen on second and seven. Van Tubergen. And he will throw that out of bounds. Field on this Saturday night. Northwestern 2-0 to start the year. Van Tubergen. And he overthrows Corey Davis. Trip. The fact that they were able to get some interceptions, but uh, did give up a number of yards. Eight interceptions now through two and a half games and a catch made by Corey Davis. Some high percentage passes out of it. Van Tubergen again. That's over the middle. And Davis not able to catch it. Eraguzo knocks it away. He does, but in front of me. <laughs> First down, Van Tubergen. Finds Davis into Northwestern Territory at the 49. Ellis over to make the stop. But that's what makes college football so great. And the one thing that he wants to do is bring a MAC title to Western Michigan. It's been 25 years. Van Tubergen over the middle. It's out of the hands of Corey Davis. A lot of opportunity out there. Second and 10, Western Michigan. Play fake. Van Tubergen over the top, and that is Davis, and it's batted away. Harris makes the play, that young freshman. It's just a 